in art, you can get stale doing the same thing over and over again. And I never could, um, I never could do that. I had to try to, to to do something, always something different, always something different, and uh, whatever. Some some artists can do the same thing over and over and over, and they never, they never, uh, whatever, get tired of it. But I, I'm not that type. I want new adventures. The creeks up here, there's so many little streams and creeks and stuff like that where, uh, that change and, and, and look different and stuff like that. And it's, I just, it, it's fascinating. I think anyway. Basically, I feel very creative because I can let my, I don't have to, copy what's out there because a lot of times nature doesn't isn't always right you know it's a uh, you have to you have to go and you have to use nature but then then stretch it and if you're going to just copy nature you might as well just have a, a camera And doing this, you, you can't be afraid. You can't, you can't be afraid. You know what I mean? Uh, you, most people would never do the, what I'm doing. They'd be too scared of ruining. See, the one thing about doing these, you can never ever be afraid of losing it. It's only a piece of wood with a few uh, paintings, uh, paints on it, and whatever it is, and so. You waste your time, but you try to do it as best you can. Sometimes they come out, sometimes they don't. You cannot worry about getting a product. If you worry about getting a product, all of a sudden you you start to tighten up. You start, to, oh, I got to do this. I got to do this. I got you know, and 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 then they they lose their. They seem to lose their uh, vitality. I'm going to take and come across here. This is the water line. That doesn't look too bad. But I think that the rest of my life, I'll spend the rest of my life doing these weeds in the snow and the, and the rocks in the water. Yeah. I, li I like those. I, they're fun. They're fun to paint. Where the other th stuff was a challenge. But anyway, I like flowers. I like flower gardens and all that stuff. It makes me feel good. You know, looking at flowers and a, a nice painting of flower gardens, it makes me feel good. Painting is a whole life. The whole life, whether you become famous or whether you sell your work, that's immaterial. That's bullshit. If you do and, and, and love what you're doing and try, it's like climbing the ice mountain. You take one step, two steps forward, you slide back one. And you do the same thing over and over again. And eventually you'll get there. Eventually you'll get there. It's, uh, it's not easy. It's not easy. In this country, it's all it's all money. It's ne you know how much? Oh my God! How much? Do you really sell those paintings? How much do you get for it? How long does it take you to do it? You know, this is, this is the which which absolutely blows my mind when they when they say how long did it take you to do it? And I usually come out and say 65, 70 years. What? And I say, yeah. What do you think that you come out of your mother's womb with a paintbrush in your hand? This is a, uh, all this stuff about genius and, and whatever it is. And it's all storybook crap. And, and the, painting is a learning thing. It's, a, it's an entire life of learning. But it's glorious. But it's, 
it's glorious. If you uh, if you attain this, then it becomes a real great thing. It really does. And you're still young, 50 years old. That's hmm. nothing. 50 years old, you're still young. Look at me, I'm an old fool. I'm still at it. You know, 70, 78 years old, still putting springs in oh, the car. Oh shit! <laughs> that is crazy stuff. <laughs>